Welcome to the Planet Pearl video tutorial for Seed Stitch. Our supplies for today's lesson, yarn, and a pair of straight needles. To get us started, I've cast on 10 stitches. To knit the seed stitch, we're going to knit one stitch and then purl one stitch. Knit the first stitch and purl the second. We're going to alternate knit and purls across. Now seed stitch can be knit on any number of stitches if as long as you just read your stitches on the way back. So here we've knit and purl 10 stitches. So when we turn our work around, you'll see the first stitch looks like a knit on the side that we're currently working. So what we want to do is we're going to alternate our stitches so that where we see knits, we purl. Where we see purls, we knit. So obviously we have a loop here, which would be a knit, so we're going to purl. And then the next stitch you can see is a purl, so we knit. And so now we're going to alternate the purl and the knit all the way across. And we'll do this on every row, alternating the purls and the knits so that we're knitting purl stitches and purling knit stitches. So you can see when you look at the stitches how it creates almost a checkerboard effect alternating knits and purls on both rows. I love seed stitch because it gives you a great reversible texture with this alternating design. It creates these diagonals. It's my favorite background for cables. And it turns the simplest garment into something special. This is a little bolero. It's from the first Twinkle Big City Knits book. And it's just a very simple shawl collar bolero done in seed stitch. And it's the texture of the seed stitch that makes this so pretty. Oh, Paris thought that seed stitch was something to eat. Oh, sorry, Paris. Come back and see us soon at planetpearl.com.